Welcome to Chuck Builds. Today I'm going to show you how to pair your Philips Hue light bulb to your Zigbee network and how to find it if it's not showing up. Follow along. Before we get started, I want to talk about why you'd want to use a Philips Hue light bulb with your Zigbee network and the pros and cons of doing so. A light bulb such as the Philips Hue bulbs that have Zigbee in them will require mains power, as in they will not be on battery, and thus they will act as a router for your Zigbee network. Your Zigbee devices will get routed through this light bulb to create a stronger mesh network. If your Zigbee USB antenna is far away or you have a large home, you'll need a couple of routers and light bulbs make great routers. The downside of using your Zigbee network instead of the Philips Hue bridge is that you're gonna lose access to the Hue specific functionalities. This includes dancing to your music, matching the content on your screens or pairing with the scenes for a whole room. I personally never used those or the experimental or the labs, I think is what it's called, features. I haven't used a bridge in several years and I don't even have the app on my phone anymore. I don't use the color bulbs. I use the white ambiance because I like the temperature warmth that I can change throughout the day. My next video is going to be showing you how to use that and set that up with the Home Assistant Community Store, which is what got me started with this bulb. It is not showing up on my Zigbee network. I'm going to walk you through how to fix that. Zigbee sometimes gets a bad rep for having dropouts or unreliable signal, and I want to remind you to use a USB extension for your uh, Zigbee coordinator. I've got my Sonoff dongle here on an extension cord before we even get started in case there's any issues that we might have connecting to this Zigbee bulb. We're just going to go ahead and get rid of any options there and make sure that this works. Another thing to think about is your distance between this light bulb and this coordinator. If you don't have any other routers, you cannot be putting this on the other side of the house. They need to talk to each other at some point. And once you put this in, it'll strengthen your mesh so that your other devices, such as your motion sensor, can talk to this bulb. And then this has more power to send it to this coordinator. But you, you need to be realistic of the distance between these two. Uh, you can get away with a room or two, but I would not go corner to corner of your front door to your back door on different floor and all that. Be realistic of where you're placing it and your network will grow as you get more bulbs or more routers on there. Another thing that I would like to call out, I'm gonna be using this lamp for example with this bulb. We're gonna be plugging this in and connecting it to power. So you're gonna to have to be careful that you're not sticking your finger anywhere that it shouldn't be. I also wanna call out that if you have a dimmer that clicked on, but we still don't have power and you need to be on max like that's halfway through the power and it's not enough to keep the light on you need to get that all the way up and leave it at maximum the Philips hue bulbs don't really like the dimmer you got to have that maxed out and if you have a dimmer on the wall that you're plugging this into the ceiling take off the faceplate and make sure that there's not a little lever behind there to max out the current going to the bulb because it might be dim at the faceplate underneath the dimmer that you might have access to the Hue bulbs are really great. They can be finicky, especially when resetting. They usually need the Hue bridge around or the dimmer remote is the official way to do it. There's three ways to reset your Hue bulbs if you can't get them to connect to your Zigbee network. The first that we're gonna be using right now is TouchLink and that uses your Zigbee coordinator to kind of find nearby devices and then factory reset them that way. The downside of this is that you have to be very close to your Zigbee coordinator with your light bulb or your device. The second way that we'll be doing it is using the Philips Hue app over Bluetooth and then pairing it to the phone and then doing a factory reset from there. And the third way that we'll reset is by doing a sequence of powering it on and off until it resets. To do the touch link, we're gonna to take our bulb on our lamp and make sure it's on, full blast, no dimmer. And then I'm just kind of holding it close to uh, my coordinator. And then we'll go to touch link up here and then scan. And we have two items here. This channel 25 is my home personal Zigbee network. And I've already checked this. I know it's my ceiling fan light. So I'm gonna ignore that. And I believe this is the correct light right here. So I'm gonna come and click this little red factory reset. And the bulb is flashing saying that it got the message and will be resetting. 
and it was successful. So now if we go back to our devices and click permit join, it should pop up here in just a moment. We might need to power cycle it. Nope, oh, didn't have to, there it is. And so that connected pretty quickly and we have full control in here. We can turn it off and on and uh, change the color and all that from Home Assistant, which is great because it's really quick, it's local and it's not going to any servers. So the next extra bulb that I have is a also BR30 size bulb, which is the downlight. And this one has Bluetooth and Zigbee on it. We can kind of see the logo there. So on my phone, I went to the Q app and then I'm gonna tap on add light, add a Bluetooth light. And then I'm gonna hold my phone about three feet away from this light so that it can be discovered and it flashed when it was found. So we'll click done. And then with this light, we'll go into the Hue app, go to the settings, light settings, and then click reset and factory reset this. And it popped up immediately in Home Assistant Zigbee to MQTT. And we can see this one is not like the other in the sense that it doesn't have color temperature. We only have brightness controls. So now I'm going to try and factory reset this bulb using a sequence of turning it on and off again. You'll start with it off for five seconds, on for eight, and then off for two, and then on for eight, then off for two. You'll just kind of keep going until it resets. But this is by far like the last stop. Nothing else is working. Um, I'm doing it with a switch, but if you had a wall switch, a paddle that you could hit, it's the same process. We're just gonna be turning it on and off again until it resets. So I'm gonna have my Zigbee ready to join over here. And then I'm gonna turn this on for just a few seconds. And we're gonna do off for five. Then on for eight. Off for two. On for eight. There we go. So that flashing is telling us it reset, and then the quick flashing was pairing to Zigbee. There it goes. Just took a second. Had to power cycle it one last time, and it popped in. Um, so those are the three ways to get your Hue bulbs reset. This is a part of a multi-part, I guess, series where I'm going to be talking about lighting in your smart home. I use the Hue bulbs. People say they're too expensive. I get a lot of mine on eBay. I've yet to have an issue, but every eBay bulb, you'll have to do a reset similar to this. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped. If it didn't, let me know in the comments. The touch link and power cycling can be a little bit finicky sometimes, so stick to it. I'm sure you'll get it to work. Uh, if you like this or want to see more, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to put out a video about every week and I've got some new social media accounts and a website to go check out if you want to join the community. Thanks for watching.